without a doubt, uh, ever since he mentioned Wolverhampton on that interview, I, think, I believe it was on Friday, my phone has been non-stop with people supporting him and getting right behind him. And even today, I've had people ringing. My phone's actually going in my pocket now. This is somebody saying we're really proud of him, and we all are. Yeah, well, I know the family quite well. Um, I used to take part in amateur boxing at a very young age and nowhere near the level Ben's got to, of course. But I know his family quite well, and they've been in touch. And uh, as soon as he mentioned that Mayor of Wolverhampton, of course, there was a few messages, mainly of support going his way, but also giving him just a little bit of a spur on if he wants to wear these for a day. And, uh, of course, we did see the fight. We saw the interview afterwards. Ben's got no reason whatsoever to think he let anyone down. This is somebody who's gone through the sport, represented Britain in Team GB, and got to an Olympic final. Now, you've only got to look at what's happened to the boxers who've done that in the past. We're proud of him. It's a, one hell of an achievement. And, of course, we'll be making sure he can wear these for at least a day. I think it says everything, doesn't it? Because I understand what he's talking about, and I think most people do have been involved in sport. That game, that fight, that, that event that you're taking part in right now is the most important thing in the world. So, of course, he's going to be disappointed. But what he's got to remember is, look at all the fights he's won to get to that point, not just at the Olympics, but to get to Team GB. This is a, an immensely talented boxer. There is no doubt his technical ability, his feet are absolutely beautiful. This lad's going to go a long way. This is just the start for Ben. But I want to make it absolutely clear, you will get to wear these. I said, if you win gold, just to spur you on a bit, but you will get to wear these because you've earned them. And we're very, very proud of you, everybody I speak to. Well, we're working on that at the moment. Um, that's actually a very good idea. I might take you up on that if the Molyneux were favourable. Uh, I'm sure there will be. Um, but yes, we are already working on it and we've got some very, very special things lined up for Ben. Uh, but yes, he will be wearing these, he will be taking my job for the day, uh, but I would like a chance to just have that medal for a couple of minutes in front of a mirror on my own. That would be nice. OK, so Ben was here with his father as a young kid, six, seven, eight years old. He used to turn up town, he was a great little boxer. We used to spar together, we used to train together. Um, ben used to come along and watch us do some big people, obviously, on a Thai boxing background, so we fused the boxers and the Thai boxers here, we all sparred together. He was always in the background watching, playing around, dancing, sparring us as well. So he, he was, he's been around here a long time. People loved having him here. He was exactly that, cheeky chappy, um, talking, laughing, everybody respected him, everybody loved him. When he wasn't uh, boxing, he was dancing, or he was giving people mouth. Um, obviously his dad's a big man so no, I've done nothing to say back to him um, but he was like a great, a great kid to have around. He, he actually left here because he wanted somewhere close to where he lived. His godfather, Joby Clayton, used to mentor him and he used to come back here and do pads with him. Um, so he, was, he went full time into Waldensboro uh, Boxing Club with Steve um, and somewhere something in his life something clicked and between the ages that I would say 10 and 15 he just decided this is what he wants uh, and that's the nature of boxing it's an individual sport and unless you want it unless you feel that hunger you'll never succeed in it and I don't know what it was what, what changed him but you could see when he came back he was just like a different person I think he's got to turn pro. I think the world wants him to turn pro. Um, he wants to earn. Um, he's got a pro personality. He's easily marketable. And he can back it up with outstanding boxing skills. So he will be a world champion in three to five years. Yeah, do you know what? We've been inundated. We're busy anyway. For the boxing, the Thai boxing, the martial arts, we're very busy. But yeah, I mean, last night we had 20 inquiries um, in a matter of minutes. So yes, we, it's some, um, the farm's gone crazy uh, for inquiries, for the media, for everything. So it's positive for everybody.